Pedigree charts, helping scientists trace the passing on of traits. Pedigree charts. Our story begins with a couple. We've got a brown-haired male and a blonde-haired female. These two people met, fell in love, and got married. Once married, our couple decided to reproduce. In their family, they had two children. Their firstborn was a blonde-haired son, and their secondborn was a brown-haired female. Later in her life, our brown-haired female met a brown-haired male. They too fell in love, decided to get married, and reproduced. In their family, they had two children. Their firstborn was a blonde-haired female, and their secondborn was a brown-haired female. Scientists look at this family tree and simplify it. Instead of using faces and names, scientists use symbols. Squares represent males, and circles represent females. This is an example of a pedigree chart. Scientists will then use this information to track the passing on of traits. In our family, we'll look at the passing on of the blonde haired trait. Here's our family tree next to a pedigree. Together we can work to fill this out. The trait that we're looking at is the trait of brown hair. Brown hair is dominant to blonde hair. In our example, our male is heterozygous. His genes for hair color are big B, little b. In the pedigree chart, we will shade in his shape halfway. This will show us that he's carrying the recessive trait for blonde hair. The wife in our example has blonde hair. Her genes are two lowercase b's. On the pedigree chart to the right, we will shade her shape in completely. Their firstborn had blonde hair, so his shape will be shaded in completely. The son-in-law was heterozygous, or he's carrying the recessive gene. We will shade his shape in halfway. The daughter is also a heterozygous carrier. We will shade her circle in halfway. Their firstborn had blonde hair, so to represent this in the pedigree chart, we will shade her circle in completely. And her sister inherited two dominant genes for hair color. We will leave her shape unshaded. If we take a look at the pedigree, we can review what we learned. Squares represent boys, circles represent girls. A half shaded in shape represents a carrier. A carrier is someone who has one dominant and one recessive gene for a specific trait. If the shape is fully shaded in, we say that the person is showing the recessive trait. In our example, a recessive boy would have blonde hair, and so would a recessive girl, and their genes would be two lowercase b's. So the next time you look at a family tree, think like a scientist and try and pick a trait and trace it. Pedigree charts. Tracing the passing on of human traits. Thank you.